Someone uh, recently asked me how I go from grayscale portrait drawings to color. Uh, so I thought I'll make this video to explain the process that I do and hopefully be able to explain it. Recently I've been experimenting a lot more with the uh, color mode and I wanted to show you how I do that. So the first thing I do is I duplicate the layer and then I do the color balance and I like to add a little bit of a cool undertone and this really helps me have a little bit of different colors into the painting. So it's important to know that the face has different variations of colors and different colors in, in general and we can't just use one color and paint it, paint it in that color. So I pick a brush that is not entirely soft. So I have, you can see the hardness at 50%. And then I also reduce the flow to about 30%. And what that does, so if we go on a normal layer, uh, if the flow is at 100%, if I just do a line, you can see how it comes off. But if the flow is less, let's say 30%, then when I, when I try and paint it, not, it doesn't translate or doesn't transmit onto the paper as, as well. And you have to do a few strokes or a few brush strokes until you get it uh, fully 100% there. Okay, so now how do I add the colors? So the first thing I do, we said, create the duplicate you don't have to do this but I like to do this and then you can add the undertone again this is not something that you have to do but it helps add different color variations into the skin then I create a new layer change it to the color mode and then clip it to that layer so that I can just paint on it and then we can start painting. So something to keep in mind um, when we're doing color or the color mode, when we have more towards the gray selected and paint over, it brings it back to gray. And then if we go towards more of the saturated colors, it transmits the colors or puts the colors on top. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, the color mode also tries to keep the value, so you can see it's still dark here, for example, but lighter uh, where we had a where the values in grayscale was was light. So I'll take that back, undo. So the other thing to keep in mind is that the top of the head is usually more yellow, the middle of the face is more red, and the bottom is more blue. Of course, this is different from person to person, but that's really something to keep in mind. And that's why I like to select the blue undertone because then I don't really have to worry about too much at the bottom part of the face. So let's undo all of that and then we can start. So uh, we can do the same thing again. So set the middle is more towards the red and we can add, right? And then the top, the ears are also red. Top of the head is more yellow. So we can add that, like that. And then the bottom is blue. So when I try and add the color, I don't push too hard on, on the pen so that the color doesn't uh, come off 100%. Then we can, something that I also like is my shadows, I like them to be a little bit more towards the red. So. If I go towards the neck, I can add that there. And then here is where we can start adding the, the variations of colors, like the yellow is up top is a little bit too much. Um, we can go towards the, a little bit more towards the yellow and add it to the spots where it's more light. Um, example here and then another thing is the cheeks are we can add 
more red towards the cheeks themselves if we want to do that so right there a little bit towards the nose that again I like the shadows to be more red so I can add that I feel the yellow is a bit too much so I'm going over it with a little bit of, of red again because the flow is is on 30% and when I try and paint when I select those different colors it it creates the color variations in in it um, can go a little bit more towards the yellow and add it to the body a bit there we go and then the lips so we can select a color that we want and then paint on top of it I just selected a different color a little bit more saturated to just make it pop a little bit more You can even add that in other places, the same color we wanted to. The nose, for example, maybe a bit too much. As, and as you can see, it's already looking um, very, very colorful. The next thing we can do is add the color to the hair. Let's say we wanted it to be more towards the golden color so we can add that just like this then we can come to the eyes so the eyes are more gray so I select the gray color it's not really white it's not 100% white uh, it's more gray and then let's say we want to add blue here so we can just select the blue color and just add it there let's say the same goes for the eyebrows maybe we want to add a little bit of color to it not too much there we go and yeah that's there you go like in a few minutes because the base layer was very well done so in this method you gotta make sure your values are very well and the amount of rendering that you do with your grayscale is very well done then you can add the colors very fast um, the next thing we can do is um, it's not really completely done at this stage so you, what what I like to do is duplicate you don't have to do this you can just merge if you want um, I, I'd like to do a duplicate to just have a copy and then we can add a couple other different layer types so for example we can go to the multiply mode if we wanted to add more uh, darker areas so for example and I and I selected a cool color for the um, for the multiply mode and then we can come and add it so for example we, let's say we want to add it a little bit more the neck parts that there are more in the shadow we can come here and and do that let's say if we were not very happy with the values that we had during the grayscale uh, stage the other thing that you can do for example let's say we were not happy with the color of the hair uh, you can come back to color and color it or let's say you want it to be darker so we go to the multiply mode same thing and then add that here one of the things that you can do now and I'll show you is see now I added a blue color I uses use the blue multiply for the hair and let's say we're not happy with this and we want it to change it a bit you can do that by uh, opening the hue saturation mode and you can play around with that multiply layer to add or change the color of that you can of course do that with a color mode as well but this also works so let's say we wanted to go there 
And then the final thing that we can do is add a hard light uh, mode to adding some more highlights if we wanted to. So for example, oh, I realized the eyebrows. Okay. So let's go to the highlights or the hard light mode. Let's say we wanted to add a little bit more highlights, the nose, the lips, for example, the eyes. Maybe a little bit on some areas that get more light. And that's really it. So you can see already, you can take the background darker a little bit and you can already see it just took us about 10 to 15 minutes and we were able to turn a grayscale uh, portrait drawing into a colored version very quickly. Uh, I hope I was able to explain this uh, to you. Uh, I tried to go through this uh, quickly course you can spend a lot more time and add more details to it and I will just cut this video now and I'll spend a little bit more time and edit this more and then I will have the final version uh, just on this right right away uh, I hope uh, this was helpful for you please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video